to today's tip and tricks video today I'm going to show you how to make this shell nail that doesn't require too much filing because normally with embedded shells and other bits and pieces you you need to make the surface smooth you need to do a lot of filing after you filling in with the gel and cure so sometimes the surface can be very bumpy but with this one it's very easy and it doesn't really require too much filing what we need is this kind of plastic foam this one has been around for years that is made to extend the nail without the foam and the tip so you put the product inside the tip and then put it on top of your, your actual nail to make the extension you can do acrylic or gel with these tips it's very easy to find foam tips in ebay or aliexpress so I'll show you how to make this and also we're going to need some shells and some foils as well so the shells there's different ones there's the crushed ones all the thin larger pieces all the thicker big pieces I'm going to use the crushed one today and some gold foil as well okay let's go okay so I have already prepped this silicon finger now I'm going to put on a thin layer of structure gel Okay, now I'm done with the placing of the shells and foils. As you can see it's very bumpy on top. But now I'm going to cure it first for 30 seconds. Okay, so this is cured. So there's a few ways to make the surface smooth. You can keep applying clear gel to cover the whole nail and then do the filing or you can do put on clear gel and then wrap it to make the surface smooth and then fill in the other places and then file it today I'm going to show you a simple array to use one of these plastic forms like this one it's been around for quite a few years now so you can easily find this online like ebay or anywhere so basically i'm going to put gels inside the tip and then apply it on top of this nail but i'm not going all the way to the back i'm going one millimeter away from the cuticle and then do it that way so I'm going to apply some clear gel on it 45 degree angle 
push it and then just push it down the whole night. If you think the gel is not enough, remove it, apply a bit more. Try to eliminate all the bubbles and everything. Okay. The gel can go over the tip. That's okay. So you hold on to it and then you can use a spatula or anything. Take off the gels that just come off from the sidewalls. And at the back. Okay, once you think it's okay, hold on to it. You can use like a mini LED torch. Give it like a 10 second cure. And then you can put in the light for a full cure. After it's been cured, you can easily peel off the tip. You can re you reuse these ones. So put it back to the box. And now you can see the surface is really smooth and very glossy. But I'm still going to clean it. Now I'm going to file it around the cuticle and side walls and the front. Now I have filed the cuticle area to eliminate all the ridges and dips and done. I'm going to clean the nail. And now I'm going to fill it in with structure gel. You can lay it on the surface. Build your structure with gel the way you want it. Okay, now I'm happy with the way it is. And now let's turn the nail down face up to let the gel do the work. Now you can see the surface is very smooth and I'm going to adjust the structure and build the apex for 30 seconds now I have fi finished curing you can see the nail is very smooth I'm going to clean the nail take off the inhibition layer and I'm going to put some stickers on it I'm going to use this one
after you have put on the sticker, okay, you push it with the silicone pusher. Make sure it doesn't have any leaf things. Okay, and now you can apply top coat. You see the surface is very smooth. Okay, now let's cure for this 30 seconds and you're done. Now the nail has been finished. You can see the surface is really, really smooth. And there's not too much filing for look to make it smooth. And it's very easy to do. Okay, hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you at my next video.